Calgary 2026 big corporation is planning uh, not only to invest capital in two new venues, but we'll also be putting towards significant uh, capital towards 11 existing venues and three training venues. Speaking about McMahon, where we are here today, uh, our plan, which includes uh, investment in new seating uh, and in, in addition, some temporary seating that, that increases the capacity for the opening and closing ceremonies, will involve a major rejuvenation of the main uh, public areas. For new venues, uh, the site just behind us will host the uh, new mid-sized community arena. That will be a five to six thousand seater facility. It has a second ice sheet for community use. Uh, during the Olympics it will be the host, uh, the second arena for our ice hockey events. And during the Paralympics it will be the main arena for para ice hockey. We will also have a multi-sport field house. It will have a 400 meter track, courts and pitches. It will host the uh, figure skating and short track speed skating for the Olympics and it will also have a wheelchair curling for the Paralympic Games. The Paralympic Games were not held here in Calgary in 1988 and that's because the precedent of hosting the Olympic and the Paralympic Games in the same city was not set until a few months following Calgary's Games in Seoul, Korea. And from that point on, every city has held an Olympic and Paralympic Games and so this would be Calgary's first opportunity to do so in 2026. And what Fergal didn't speak to are some of the small but very large changes that would happen in facilities such as McMahon Stadium that would allow persons with a disability to be more included fully as spectators, um, as participants, as people in our society in general. These minor adjustments will make a big difference in the lives of those who use it every day and all those generations to come for the next 30 years hopefully based on the from 88 to uh, currently and now beyond. Although I love Calgary and I love winter, I hate the cold. <laughs> so the 400 meter track would be an amazing opportunity to actually come to training and be warm. For us, it's an amazing opportunity to have the Oval because we have so many sports and events that come here.